Well, here's a spot I've never been to before. We're right on Bloor Street facing the Line 2 subway. Right above the Humber River on the borders of Old Toronto to the south, York to the east, and Etobicoke to the west. And there's a Line 2 westbound train about to enter Old Mill Station. And there is the historic Old Mill venue where I was uh, six days ago. And on this hot but gorgeous sunny day, barely even a cloud in the sky, why not take a walk around the Old Mill neighborhood? Lots of very nice old homes, uh, buildings. Okay, maybe it's the only building that counts as very old. I'll tell you about it in a little bit. And here we got these uh, apartments that almost really rem that almost remind me of uh, Montreal. At least the uh, at least the bricks, the kind of, like the architecture, but it's a, it's a little bit far from like what you would see over there. And hey, what's up, y'all? Ladies and gentlemen, Alex here. Uh, as I just mentioned, coming to you, not live, from uh, Bloor Street and the Humber River. And again, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool spot. I don't know how I haven't even uh, gone there yet to uh, you know, even film the trains going by. Unfortunately, though, the only downside of that is that the westbound train is going pretty slow. I think there's a, uh, a freaking uh, speed zone, so that kind of ruins it. But either way, it's really cool. And I don't know if you guys even saw, but uh, I probably forgot to point the camera down, but there were a lot of like kayakers in the Humber River. And every time I'm on the subway passing over the river, I see lots of ducks, geese, people in the, again, people kayaking like I just saw on the river. And uh, there's a little bit of a nature area north of here. Anyway, so now we're on uh, Old Mill Drive. Or is this Riverside Drive? Well, I gotta find Old Mill Drive and then I'm gonna make a left onto Old Mill Road. Oh, I hear the rumbling right underneath my feet. There's the subway. That's the tunnel. And uh, yeah, the tracks literally, yeah, I'm literally right above the tracks, guys. It goes underneath those homes here. Yeah. There's the westbound train, and there's an eastbound one coming. I can literally hear it. And then, and then see it too, but from a bit of a different uh, viewpoint. Or sorry, vantage point, I should say. All right, so this neighborhood is really full of, the, full of these very nice uh, homes that were built before and after the Second World War here. I really like the design. This is my second walking video of, of the day. Uh, earlier, I went to Koreatown. I did a walking video on Gray Street. And then I took the 505 Dundas streetcar to Dundas West Station, where I ironically was yesterday because I was transferring from the... Because I, I was uh, transferring from the GO train to the subway. I got to Dundas West Station a whole lot. And there's the eastbound train going behind me. Yeah, I felt the streetcar ride, and then uh, I got off at Jane and walked all the way here. And I thought I would start off my video uh, looking towards the subway uh, at the Humber River. Again, uh, somewhere I've never really been to before. But I've been to this area, and again, as, as I just mentioned, I was here six days ago. So what's very notable about this area is that it's not just the, the, the character, but you also got the oatmeal uh, venue, boutique, spa, and restaurant. And uh, it is actually Canada's oldest restaurant dating back to 1914. It's celebrating its 110th anniversary. So my, oh shit, oops, almost dropped my phone there. But yeah, uh, my grandpa just retired. Uh, he, he was working at uh, City of Toronto for decades. He worked at, uh, I think it was Old or New City Hall and then Metro Hall. And after... But if some ups and downs, he finally uh, pulled the plug. So to celebrate, well, it was more like a, it was more like a uh, Thanksgiving. And here's Old Mill Drive going to make a left here, even though there's no sidewalks. And that's the thing with these affluent neighborhoods is you can barely walk anywhere. But it looks like they just uh, repaved the road here. It looks all freshened up. Okay, I see a sidewalk up ahead. But uh, yeah, we wanted to go to the Old Mill restaurant for 10 years now. I remember like when I was a kid. 
uh, we were, we had this idea of going there, but we never even, but uh, never even came to uh, fruition. So we finally did on Saturday, and I was really excited. We went, to, we had a reservation for 11 a.m., and it was just 12 of us, so the whole family, my cousins, uh, and uh, some family friends of his. Oh shit, there's a sidewalk here! Oh my god, I forgot about that. But, uh, I don't know, it looks like it ends up ahead. Yeah, I'll tell you about my experience as we're walking through, but let me just tell you, it was an amazing experience. Like, going to the Old Mill restaurant is an experience. Yes, it's very expensive. But it was definitely, uh, it was definitely enjoyable. Uh, again, look, I like these, uh, I like how they added bricks here. Oh, yeah. The whole street's full of bricks. It's like you're in a, it's like you're in a small town. This is, uh, Halford Avenue. Beautiful. Okay, so now the sidewalk continues here. Okay. And there is Old Mill, Old Mill Row. And I'm going to make a left and cross the Humber River. So again, I've been wanting to make a walking video around here for a while. But I wanted to wait until after I visit the Old Mill restaurants. And you know, while I'm making this video, I'll uh, tell you guys about my experience. There's a tennis court. Oh yeah, this is Etienne uh, uh, Brule Park. That's what I was referring to when I said nature area. I forgot this park even existed. So right now we're in uh, York. Just north of here is the Babby Point neighborhood. But of course, once we cross uh, the Humber River, we'll be in Etobicoke. And yes, this is where we came from. We, we, we drove along here to, uh, to meet our family. I've never even been here before. Oh, there's one of our iconic Canada geese, or as we like to call them, cobra chickens, because they are aggressive at times. Lucky me, I've never been attacked. And also, Old Mill was the site of Canada's first uh, sawmill, which can actually be seen as you're entering the, uh, the, the old restaurant. It's been serving a lot of... T it's been serving... Uh, tea brunch dinner for 110 years it's an absolutely gorgeous building i've i've even filmed a quick walk around as well as some uh newer uh, elevators that were installed uh back in the 2000s by schindler and this is obviously a very old bridge you're crossing here this is the old mill bridge which was according to this plaque here was constructed in 1916 and now we got to be careful because uh Actually, let's, let me just uh, allow this cyclist to pass through here. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll get going. All right. There we go. All right. So there's a lot of uh, geese here. So that's looking north. And that's looking south. But you can't see uh, Bloor Street and the subway. And uh, they're doing some uh, construction up ahead. But now we are in uh, Etobicoke. And there's some high-rise apartment buildings around here. I bet you they're like hundreds of thousands of dollars because this, this is an expensive neighborhood. And uh, we parked. Uh, we parked right there. A little bit busy right now. So yeah, uh, six days ago, uh, as I mentioned, me and my family came here for uh, Sunday, not Sunday, Saturday uh, brunch at 11 a.m. This is actually my uh, first time here. Oh yeah, it's also a hotel. Also, yeah, like literally people actually stay here. 
and there's a spa, a boutique shop. But of course, the main part of the venue is the restaurant, of course, and there's the main entrance. Look at how beautiful this place is. Oh, that garage parking, next driveway. We didn't even think of that when we went. But yeah, let me tell you, you guys never been to the Old Mill restaurant and maybe if you even have uh, the money for it. Oh, man, there was a lot of selections. There's a Canadian... Uh, uh, oh, look, there's a, a stairway to the uh, inn. I could pretty much go in there any time and check out the grounds, but I already did that six days ago. Yeah, there's a Canadian cheese board. Uh, I had like waffles, smoked salmon. They had like a variety of uh, selections there. And they had a great dessert. I had like a piece of like chocolate. Uh, I had like a piece of like authentic chocolate and also some mousse as well. It was really, really good. Had a lot of salad, fruit selections. But yeah, this is like, this is really just an experience eating at the, the country's oldest restaurant. It's a treat going there. That's how, that's, like, that's how I feel because this is an authentic and uh, expensive type of place. But yeah, I did a video on the, well, most of the property anyway and filmed the elevators. You guys can check out that video. Right across from some, right across uh, from uh, some high rise, low rise apartments. Pretty sure uh, people are not that are not like guests or any of the restaurant can even take a stroll down there because there's like someone. There's like a. A few things to see there. They even have a nice garden, nature area of sorts. Hmm, there's an old cannon in here. And uh, what street is that up ahead? I think this might be uh Uh, West Drive, if I'm not mistaken. So Old Mill Subway Station is right around the corner from here. And I think this street goes on to uh, Bloor as well, but I don't know. Why don't we see what's over there? If not, I'll come back here and walk down to the subway. Oh, of course the... Oh, no, it doesn't. Are kind of going uh, uphill here. Uphill uh, here. Hey guys, if you're if you're, if you're uh, live around in Toronto, never been here before, definitely check out the Old Mill venue. It's a very nice property. You'll never be disappointed by the uh, uh, the selections it has for brunch, dinner. A lot of people have had their uh, weddings there. There's a, yeah, like a jazz lounge of some sorts. Okay, nothing there. Let's just head back. I am hot, man. Pretty hot. At least I got a cold ball of water that I've been drinking. Oh, 
Oh, this is Old Mill Trail. Got it. And it's Holmesmith Park Road. Oh, then I filmed a uh, subway train ride. I started my video from here. Uh, walked in and then took the train two stops over to uh, the freaking uh, Runnymede. Oh, there's a nice cute uh, doggy over there. Where's his owner? At least they're fenced. Got some more apartments here. Very convenient to ride because you know you ride across from the subway. You can just get to uh, downtown in literally uh, 15, 20 minutes or less. There's a Nova LFS from 2018, 3348 on the 63. Heading to Humber Bay Shores. I've been on that road a couple times. Hey, there's our first squirrel snooping around right next to the subway station. There's a chipmunk. Look at that little fellow over there. <laughs> I think I hear a train going by. Hey guys, so uh, I'm gonna wrap things up here. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already as always. Stay tuned for more videos. Check out my average as well. I have to get up early tomorrow because I'm going to Niagara Falls. So uh, I kind of want to get home now. So hey guys, got to hop on the subway. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay hydrated. Stay cool. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, y'all. Peace out. Bye-bye.